Disruption is something which is almost like the religion of our age. I think open providers have a massive potential to um, disrupt in a really positive way around new practices in, in academia. I think the really interesting thing about Open Badges is that they can capture all those little things which we think are valuable, like soft skills, um, even just turning up for stuff, seeing progression, scaffolding things. And at the moment, it's almost like putting large stones into a jar, and that's all we've got. If you put those little stones in round it, it tells a much more interesting, much more holistic picture about the learner. And that's what we're interested in when we're hiring, when we're looking for university admissions. When, when I want to know more about you, I want evidence-based stuff you can give badges for pointless stuff and badges for great stuff. And I think as long as you recognize that it's the learning design behind that, all of the things we've had to do before, will recognize that badges aren't just things that you like spray on people, but they're things that you actually have to carefully design and, and design a system around. Yes. What we tend to do, especially in academic institutions, is say, well, people need to deserve this badge. So I'm gonna give this really big badge for the end of a course. Whereas what we need to do is think, well, what's the smallest badge we could do here? Maybe it's for turning up. And you might think, well, that's so low level, why would you bother? But some people have had a real struggle to even get there. You know, you don't know what's happening in people's lives. And people are only gonna use and display those badges that they think are meaningful. So they're not gonna show that badge for turning up if they then go on to get more meaningful badges. But along the way, they can show those badges that have meaning, that fill in all those little gaps that they wanted to have filled in.